Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Stellaris 2.0. Last episode we left off having constructed ourselves fleet number two. Which doesn't look like it's full. There might be ships moving about still? Where Where is it located? Ah, here it is. Uh, it needs a leader, so let's go ahead and recruit one. Uh, I guess we'll just go with experience gain. No issue there. Make sure these ships get Our upgraded ships properly. And uh, I guess that's what we're doing with them. All right, construction ships. Oh, we, ex we expanded our territory just a wee bit more along the peripheries. Grab the strategic resource. We're going to grab strategic resource. Go to grab this system to avoid pirates. I mean, this is a 3K fleet. It could deal with, uh, with issues. There's something over here to blow up, isn't there? Oh, my. Gateway reactivated. Our scientists have successfully restored power to the ancient gateway in the Ugrel system. Despite its age, the device has formed a stable subspace conduit that is fully traversable. Did I tell people to do that, or did they just do that? The probe we sent through has confirmed that our activation of the gateway has restored power to a second identical device. For now, these two link gateways are the only ones that are accessible to us. But more inert devices can likely be found elsewhere. In the future, we may be able to construct entirely new gateways. You agree? Okay, so, I mean, I can't possibly have that many of these things. Here we go. Here it is. And the other, the, the Akano Dynastic Union is on the other side. I mean, they seem fine. It's cool that it works, though. I can traverse System from, complete. well, it's really not that big of a jump, is it? It's from here to, it's from here to here. And there's actually, there's actually a pretty, well, no, there isn't a straight line there because there's no crossing over from here. That would actually, that, yeah, that would uh, knock out more than a few, a few jumps, more than a few jumps. No complaints there. I'm gonna check something. What are my um, ship designs? My destroyer should be picket ships. What are they set? They're set up as picket ships, so that's good. Well, they have a a picket bow. That's that's one flat cannon. That's not bad. They're just there to intercept shit. Interceptor. New missile boats, if I wanted to. Oh, you could set up your cruiser or your corvettes as, as uh, picket ships. I didn't know that. These guys are just broadsides. Construction complete. Nothing special there. Any construction ship. I got some plans for you. I wonder if it's possible for a system to be vacant. Just nothing at all in it. You guys have a job. There is the... What was it called? The System's asset protection unit. Complete. That needs to be destroyed. So you head out over this way. Definitely a good idea to have multiple fleets because it takes way too long to traverse from one side to the other. I got to get out of the mindset of doom stacking. Doom. Unity gains pretty good. So what do we unlock? Well, we just grabbed um. What do we what do we hit? Ex expansion to get. Well, what would, uh, have unlocked zero five. Colony development speed. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. The only thing I really cared about was capital buildings producing extra unity. Nothing else is really that big of a deal. Okay, good. Got that settled. Start grabbing more. We have so much of the Galactic Core. Very strange looking empire. Transmission. Does now the corporate with members would like to extend an offer of associate status to the dupe? You know what? I'm going to accept that because these guys have a, a, a back door into my territory right now. Does it actually? Oh, it, okay, cool. It does. It does actually look different. It's like a miniature black hole. It looks like uh, this is a very similar graphic. I like it. It looks cool. Construction complete. 
Alright, construction ship. Alrighty, thank you. Have me keep going. Wonder if there's anything interesting over here because there is something there's something there defending it. Usually if there's something in there, I mean like those void clouds are defending this really nifty black hole with all the the physics in it. So maybe if I'm lucky. Wasn't I researching I could have sworn I told my guys to research The dark matter. Maybe, maybe, maybe the dark matter took too long, and then I decided not to. I don't remember. All right, so just keep going around, finishing this up. We can get all the way up to here before there's a problem. Should not be a bad idea. I mean, I've already got it pretty much capped. Yeah, I probably won't build another star base because I've got one of the more interior areas capped with this station here. That's good. There's a little U FTL inhibitor. Hostile fleets will be unable to leave this system through any other hyperlanes than the one they entered. So is that just something that you have on all of your stations after you research it? I think it might be. Yes, it is. Most certainly is. And then I think you can... Well, let's, let's actually take a look at uh, dupe here. So let's say I wanted to um, pave over some farms. Provides, provides FTL. Yeah, the stronghold provides an FTL inhibitor in a system that has planets in it. But I feel like if you have a... Well, I guess it's just an added boost. If, um, say, so you had a habited system... Well, I kind of, kind of figured if you had a habited system near your border, you'd have it defended with a station. But that means that if they take out the station, they can't just fly past the planet. They have to take the planet too before continuing on in. So that's pretty cool. Ten thousand fleet power. I love it. Hmm. Black Artillery will definitely upgrade my, my destroyers. Which I know there's there's two types of flak guns. One's good against missiles, one's good against or point defense weapons, that is. One's System one's good against complete. um uh, uh strike craft, and one's good against missiles. I don't remember which one's which. Just, I don't, I really don't want to, can we want to try again? Linger for a while, medium probability of success. Curse bestowed. Yet another flickering star suddenly appears, but this time we are ready. It is indeed an alien ship, unlike any that we have ever seen in our galaxy. As it flies past us, we attempt to merge with the mind glow of its crew, but their intellects are darker than any other alien we have yet encountered. Not only are we repelled from their vessels, but the psionic feedback from their violent reactions followed us out of the shroud. The sublight travel speed of our starships has been momentarily reduced. Exit the shroud for 60 months. So that's happening. Um, now let's look at... Incoming transmission. Yes, a research agreement. I'll accept that. Let's look at research. And do we still have... We still have whispers in the void. Okay. So that didn't get rid of whispers of the, from the void. I think we could just be, maybe we could keep going in there trying to get more boons. Although we didn't get a success, we got a failure. I guess we'll see what I guess we'll see because we'll keep trying. Who are you? Who are you? Is that that's a battleship. So, what, what I. Pompous Starfleet. Are they moving? Where are you guys moving to? Are they part of my Tumpus Starfleet? Maybe. This has got Corvettes, destroyers, and cru cruisers. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Who's insulted me? Obev. Butthole Manoise. 
How is our defenses over here looking? In the Imdar system. 6.5, that's not very strong. Construction complete. Defense platforms plus eight. I don't rush. I don't have a lot of resources to be thrown into that. What I was thinking is more like um, the disruption field, maybe. Seems like a good idea. And then we'll also try to scrooch around, grab as much, much more power as we can. I mean, we're. We're doing pretty good. Oh, you know what? Let's check our edicts too. Uh, maybe what? Maybe the maybe the power edict fell off. Capacity overload. Bam! There we go. Back in the positive. Construction complete. Back in the positive. Farming subsidies. System production survey targets. complete. Where's the saint one? Clear saint. It would be. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to just continuously re-up these. That would be nice if you if there was um. Like a secondary check button or something like that, or just you know, like uh, click once, do it once, click twice, and it's like an X that that means continue doing it, keep paying the cost. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Flactillery. Alrighty. Ooh, quantum missiles. I think I will, because we are using some. We do have a lot of missiles available to us. A lot on our on our platforms. The spirits have granted us. There we go. Wisdom. Ooh, gateway travel, planetary shield generator. For my one planet, zero point reactor. Um, why not? It's gonna take a while, but that seems pretty cool. You upgrade. It's just for it's basically just my destroyers, but. Shouldn't make that big of a difference. We don't have any PD weapons on our defense platforms. Yeah, I should have... I, th I think that the the first time you get the FTL and have inhibitors popped, unless there is some extenuating circumstances that you should definitely grab it. Oh, and did I get... What are the odds that I got that, that strategic resource already? Don't have it already, but let's take a peek around. I don't see it up here. I don't see it down here. Oh, hey, look. I don't know if you notice. There's a merchant guild right there. That, I, I assumed that the one I saw before was... Um, was one of the ones that popped before. I just naturally assumed it was someone that was nowhere near me. I should go say hi to them. Huh. Build another construction ship. Yep. Uh, let's do that. Spaceport. Construction ship. Cheap to build. Cheap and quick. Only takes two months and 75 minerals. It's no big deal. What's this? The education campaign. Leader experience gain. I think we can leave Our that for now. Have been improved. Thank you. Heading up to deal with that situation, whatever it may be. I have no idea what it is. Construction. The Zawood system. This is a good one. Construction good amount of power in there. Start with the mining stations. Very strange looking empire, I have to say. I would love it if I could actually system encompass the entire complete. galactic core. Just give it a big old hug. And what I could do now, I could definitely encompass this whole thing. And then put a station right there. Oh god, I have so many stations. I'm thinking some of them might need to go now, though. As much as I love the ones I have, I think I might have overdid it just a wee bit. Like, let's see. This one's important. Imdar is important. This one's not as important as... As it used to be. Because Imdar's capped. Um, Sad Saddlebari is capped, and then we could basically we could delete it and rebuild the station over here. That's possible. But let's start creeping out this way. Let's get to these guys, and then I'll I'll build a very small station there. 
And then ca try to get the, the research boon Incoming for them liking me. What kind of... Who are you? Who are you? Minerals, energy credits, strategic resources. Wow, oh, that is... Why don't, why don't we do it for a little while? That'll make them like us more. Just do it for a little while. It's a good it's a good uh, exchange, too. I mean, I have a lot of minerals. They're just kind of sitting around. I'm not, really, I'm not using them too much. I've got to go back to the galaxy. There we are. Mining station. Oh, and well, we got a research station here we should hit first. Associated status in the Sanguine Axis. All right, which one of these? Go to search diplomatic opinion. Hmm. Let's go through. No, this is not. This is a border, but it doesn't connect at all. At all. That's very interesting. Omni nucleus. I would like to fight eventually. Neighbor map mode. Neighbor map modes. Oh, no, we do have. We do have uh, a border right there. I forgot about that. My bad. My bad. Okay. That's fine. Let's let's go back to normal. Okay. What do we got coming? Nothing anytime soon. Dupe surface. How's the, uh, how's the governor here? What level are you now? Six! Okay, well, not bad, really. A lot of output here. Oh, and it looks like we finally have someone working on the the research. Wow, that is really good. I can't believe I spent so much time not using research assistance when it's so good. And what level? This is only a level two scientist. Incoming transmission. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't because I'm gonna have to punch you at some point. Construction complete. Oh, these are the um, the protectors or whatever they were. No, oh, we got them. And this is a station. Doesn't look like it's uh. Food disparity combat bonus. What does that mean? The less uh, the, the the fewer ships there uh, there are, the the better they fight. That's what I'm thinking that means. Right, where's my science ships? All right, you. Wow, uh, you are really heading out there, aren't you? If there's nowhere else for him to go, it's level six. Why don't we we could set him over to back to dupe? He's a better. He'd be better at assisting on the research. And then this guy can pop out over here and and explore this system. See if there's anything there. And we'll just uh, let's see. Where's my level six guy? There he is. Send him over to dupe to do the assist research. I don't forget. Okay, and then this guy's gonna pop back over here. I'm not gonna bother with um. I don't got him. I don't got him. There, I got him. I'm not going to bother with uh, another defensive point up here because this is a good cross point to work from. Because it can defend, and it can, you know, this stuff would be open for grabs, but everything down here would be protected from this direction and from the north. So we're good there. And you keep building your thingies. Got a construction ship heading over here because we're going to try to uh, occupy that system, this Sirma? Sirma? I'm gonna go with Sirma. 
Occupy the Searma system. Like, this is, this is such a boring, boring tech. It's just like, oh, a number of changes. Well, you, know, you know, it's good. It's good, but, you know, new weapons. New weapons are fun. New, new kerplosions. These poor bastards. How are we looking internal? Why don't we take a look at them now? I don't have any inhabited systems over over on the border. For instance, it <laughs> sucks to be considering declaring war on someone you're friendly with and who, like, really loves you. But these guys, on the other hand, these guys are asses. And we are equivalent, technically. Their fleet's, fleet capacity is superior. Hmm... Oh, I forgot there was uh, natives over there. They've done the same thing, defending the border. Fleet and Hibber, so we'd have to just... Let's see. Uh, we'd have to get some uh, armies coming, but... Let's see, we'd have to fight... There's not really anything down here, so what we do is we just have to fight past this station. And try to get up here. Do they have anything... Well, there's some... There's that armor hit points... That'd be nice to have. But, hmm. How would it work if I... One one world challenge... I can't. I wouldn't be able to take other people's worlds because that would be disingenuous to the... Like, the thesis statement to the series. Huh. Just bombard it till everybody's dead and leave it? Or... Huh. Or we could, like, free, I don't know, free planets, liberate planets away from, I don't know if they'd want to be liberated, though. Oh, it looks like we missed one down here. Where that, um, gateway is. Construction complete. Thank you very much. Starbase, if you will. Science ship. No, is that our science ship? No, that's our combat fleet, right? Yeah, that's the, that's the combat fleet. So we've got a total combat fleet of uh, 25.5k. 20, Not bad, really. And we're just at our cap. It's cool that the, the strategic resource stacking has some sort of benefit. I think that's something that that everything, every single resource should have in some way in the game. Like, it just it's just a coincidence that the Zro has that boon that helps me out. That's just a coincidence. It'd be super cool. I don't I don't know if any, there maybe some already exist and I'm just not aware of them. That's plenty possible. But that'd be super cool if every single strategic resource had some sort of stacking modifier that would, uh, you know, give you a, a drive to do a little better, to, to, get, to get that one more. That one stacks up to four, and I got three, so that's pretty cool. Quantum missiles are going to be uh, a big upgrade for me. My ships don't use them so much, but the, the defense platforms use tons of them. What are their range? Is it one of the same range? Same range, it looks like. It's nice that they have retargeting, too. So if you fire 100 missiles and then the ship blows up, they don't just fly off into space. They'll change direction, go for somebody else. Always behind complete. on engineering. Alright. How's this fleet looking? Well, that's my construction ship, not my fleet. My bad. Same up here. Do your Do your duty. And you are you full? What is up with this fleet? Why does it say zero? It looks like it's pretty well set. And then there's a different class of ship. The spirits have granted Duke, us. Yeah, it's got a different them. class of ship in it. What is going on with this fleet? Fuck if I know. Alright, we could easily do armor. Starfield looks like it did, did use some missiles. Somebody in here used missiles. Get all that power. Unlimited power. 
All right, so defenses, upgrade. Have to go through and do them all. Our ships have been improved. Can I? I can't shift click, can I? No. No, it doesn't work. To go through and do them all separately. Okay, well, what if, what if you click? No. Our ships have been improved. Yeah, that would be nice. If that was a button that actually did, you know, Our ships have been improved. that'd be cool. Just one less click. Take just a little bit less time. Just click, 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 click. Our ships have been improved. 10K on the Wu-A station. Let's see, what does one of these look like? Oh, it's not upgraded yet. Our ships have been improved. Oh, yeah, that's a lot more damage. Our ships have Quantum been missiles. Sweet. I like that. Oh, I want to go to war, but god damn it, I'm so nervous to do it. These guys have any allies after I'd have to worry about? Rival, rival, close borders, CBs, target of CBs. Nobody likes them. Driven, uh, they're, they're, they're awful robotic assimilators. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's fun when, when they're immortal like this, because you're just, you're literally dealing with the same dude for, you know, generation after generation after generation. It's kind of funny. Oh, and we should definitely get this research, because we're in this station. Complete. There could be something cool there. And why don't we go ahead and try this again? See what happens. Okay. Summon a psionic uh, avatar. Pure psychic energy will manifest in our universe and it will be fully under our control. Increased evasion, decreased ship upkeep. Okay, I guess we'll do the, the avatar. The attempt to summon the avatar is only partially successful. The creature assumed its correct form and transited into our universe. Its telepaths failed to bring it under our control. We are now faced with an aggressive psionic entity that will destroy everything in its path. The apostates are after our space port. Oh no. Oh, what did I do? Where is this? Oh, that's that's the creature from the shroud. Oh, it's all wibbly wobbly. Oh no, that was the high chance of success too. Oh, it looks evil. Oh my god. Oh, oh, it's going to destroy this poor space station. Oh, they're they're willing to really pay for that. Yeah, go for it. Give me that. Cap me out. Oh, that's going to be bad. It's entering this system, isn't it? Or is it just going to sit here? So I was supposed to be under... Con this was supposed to be under my control. So it has no armor. And probably really bitching shields. Oh, and it's got, ooh, she, armor penetration 100, shield damage minus, so shields would work really, really well against it. Psy drive. Oh, my. Oh, look at those shields. So its hull is really weak, but its shields are really strong. So if we, we could fight it with something that, oh, my God, the damage it does, though. Shields, so, okay, shields would be really powerful against it. And, okay, 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 okay. Do you think my, so what are these? These are uh, increased shield damage, less armor damage. What I would need to do is like refit my fleet to, to penetrate shields. To just flat out penetrate shields. 50, per, like the plasma accelerators would be really good. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I hate it when I do that. Merge those back together. Wait, what? Oh, 
Oh, I thought they were in different stations. I thought they were in different sectors for a second. Wait, what? Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got the wrong, I'm, I'm confusing myself with the wrong fleets here. You just hang out and dupe. You and you. Can I not get them to merge now that I, did I break this? Oh, that's rally point. Um, merge. That helps. Hitting the right button does work. Whoop. So, I guess. Construction complete. Is, I guess it's just that, that that thingy is just gonna hang out Incoming there. Transmission. I did do four percent damage to it. Elmacosa, yeah, that's fine. And we'll just build the stations as we go. Same over here. To keep scrolling by. I'm I'm wondering if we because we do have shield penetration uh, capabilities. Fifteen thousand damage is not that much damage to do to a hull directly. Our ships have been improved. Refit some of our ships to just punch right through. I don't know how much damage that thing does though. It's not doing anything. That's 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 something at least. It's not actually angry. Wasn't this a 20k fleet before? Oh, we lost a leader. Let's see. Found. We'll research that. Or you can't get to it somehow. Let's see. Ship hull points, weapon damage, sublight speed, sensor range. I love... I don't, hull points is nice. Less chance of dying. There we go. Wow, that makes a big difference, don't it? Go take this system then. Construction ship. Scrooch out that way. And we're going to scrooch down this way and grab these guys. It's just kind of the corrupted avatar is just kind of sitting. So if that was under my control, would I just have this, this doom ship? floating around I could rack out other people's lives with because that'd be pretty sweet or maybe maybe he'll go away eventually he doesn't he's not repairing that's a good thing and he's not rampaging which is also good so I think for now we're going to leave this here with our corrupted avatar uh and Magnus lucked on that one hanging out in one of our systems. But anywho, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been enjoying, and I will see all of you next time.